Hey everyone, Adeline here, and welcome to the end of Xenogears. This isn't the last episode, but we're getting there pretty damn quickly. Last time, we took on all the side quests in the game. Between episodes, I went ahead and did a bunch of grinding. All of our characters have now learned all of their death blows. We'll be doing a bonus episode at some point fe featuring all the death blows. I also off screen got Faye to level 80 and everyone else to level 70. So Faye now has all of his death blows. And since everyone's at level 70, that has unlocked the last of the hyper mode death blows. So, with everything done, there's only one thing I have not shown on screen other than fighting the dragon, and I'm not going to show fighting the dragon. Um, the, the dragons aren't that bad, especially the only tips I can give for the dragons are don't use elemental attacks. Maybe use Faze, Koke, and Yamike, which are his last two death blows, but any other elemental death blows, don't use them. Because uh, it will probably heal the dragon. Um, but yeah, the dragon just drops a lot of experience and a lot of uh, rare items. Um, I did find out that you cannot get any more gold bullions at this point, so I cannot get the jukebox in the Crash Chevette. That's fine. It's just a jukebox. I'm not too upset about that. Um, I also, while I was grinding, actually, you know what? Let's get into Deus. Let's go into Deus and keep talking about this. No need to be sitting around. But while I was grinding, I found that the best place to get experience was fighting enemies in Animal Relic 2, which is up in the northwest, up at one of the polar ice caps. And that involved fighting a lot of Troker tribe enemies and a lot of Tusk Tusks, which gave us a lot of scales and ivory, which sell for a lot of money. A lot of money. The mapping of the inside of Deus is now complete. Okay, let's go, everyone. So, I might as well show you what our equipment's looking like now, since I got a fuck ton of money. I had a lot more than this. I spent a lot of money on, let's see, Z Charger, Deathblower 1, GNRS 50 on Faye. And on Fenrir, and on Crescens, yeah, I got a bunch of GNRSs, and I got extra Z chargers from Big Joe. Uh, in our regular equipment, I went ahead and stuck on a Holy Pendant Kingly Armor Speed Shoes, Holy Pendant Manly Mantle and Speed Shoes, and e Economy Ether, Ether Doubler, and Speed Shoes. Um, sadly, I don't know how to get another Holy Pendant. You might have to do the multiplayer minigame in order to get more Holy Pendants, but I'm not doing that yet. That'll be in a bonus episode. Okay, um, so yeah, everyone has speed shoes, two of us have holy pendants, and we have some pretty good equipment otherwise. We are going to be in gears for the rest of the game, so it doesn't matter too much if you have actual armor on, but I have the armor on anyway, because, I don't know, what else am I going to put there? I looked through all of my items, I couldn't find anything else I could equip. Uh, we're mostly stocked up on Omega Sol, so those aren't going to matter. So, Yfei mentioned we have a mapping of the inside of Deus. Okay, this is a large area. I don't believe there are any enemies here, and our exit's going to be in the far northeast. So we're going to go up this way, and probably get into a fight. Okay, what do we got here? Eagle Blades. So yeah, the whole Moloch plan that the Ministry was into... The, the, I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before, but oh no, a fuel leak, that's bad. Um, the whole Moloch plan... Their goal was to create hybrid human gear wells monstrosities for Deus to use as weapons. And goddamn, these are it. These and the Seraph Angels. Actually, something I noticed while I was doing prep work. Um, a lot of the Seraph Angels seem to be specifically references to um, Evangelion, which is not even remotely surprising, but they are. They are references. Okay, please let that fuel leak heal automatically. Okay. We got a searchlight up ahead. That's a problem. Let's go southeast. Then we're gonna head northeast. Hello, fight. I hear you coming. Okay, we got some Seraph Angels. What type do we got here? Water Seraphs. And yeah, they have Angel-type attacks. 
Uh, you can actually get angel armor for fighting Seroth angels out on the overworld. They appear all over the place. Um, Youch! That can be really, really good. We should probably actually equip that. Just to be safe. I can only switch over one of my items over to um, frame HP and do some healing, like, out of battle. But, ouchy, ouch. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick on some angel armor. We'll switch back to our really powerful uh, gear equipment setup when we're not probably going to die. But we're going to need that angel armor to stay safe. And you need... We'll take off the death blower. Where's a frame HP? Frame HP 30. Ow, and that drains all of your fuel. Uh-oh. Um. Oh. Let me fix that real quick. Loud noises in the background. Let's see. Um. Hmm. Let's swap out the GNRS for a little bit for a Z charger. Actually. Here. Let's put that in an actual proper order. Z charger. Who doesn't have a death? You don't have a death. I want Fenrir. How did I end up on Fenrir? No. I need to be modifying you. Okay, so we're going to take off the GNRS, take off the angel armor, put that down here and put up here Z charger. There we go. And then we'll replace your Z charger with an angel armor. And that should be good. This is gonna be good, right? Yeah. We'll just we'll just have to charge up Crescens in the next fight. Okay, head up this oh really? Is that how you're gonna play it? Okay, let's see. That's what that white is. So that's elevated area. So we probably do have to go past that. Uh, past that security beam. I was hoping to jump over it, but... Sure! Okay, we've all got angel armor, so we should be significantly safer. Youch, we took a lot of damage from that zap. Okay, Crescens, you need a charge. Oh, I love that Z Charger. I love it so much. Okay, get away from that before it burns us again, and we're heading... Okay, got a new type of set-off, Angel. What do we have here? Oh, uh, Crescents should be fine. We're just going to go for the attacks. If we, When we hit 500, we'll do another charge. Oh, nice. And more angel armor. Okay, now keep going. Please, please, please let this not be... Oh, thank goodness. So now it's just... Uh, Southeast. And then Northeast. Okay, I found out the Seroth we just fought a moment ago was named the Wind Seroth. And then last, we should be able to go this way to get out, right? Please? Yes, this is the right path. Oh, Deus is going to be... Deus's Merkava is going to be a huge maze. And it's only about to get much, much worse. Into the pit we go. Do not hit those laser beams. Oh, this is very dizzying. Oh, this is very dizzying. Please stop, game. Please stop. Ow. Ow. This is hurting my eyes quite a bit. Ugh, I hate this.
No, I think I need. I think I'm gonna need to close my eyes. Let's hope I don't hit anything. Fuck. My eyes are half closed. It's helping. This is actually really painful. Game, please leave me alone. Okay, and now we are stuck here until we've finished. Yeah, this place is a huge maze. Get ready for it to really suck. Okay, let's see. First, I have a map. Worry not, I have a map with specific directions on where to go so we aren't trapped here for too long. Oh, this place sucks. First, we're gonna wanna head south. And then I believe we wanna head east. I don't think there's any enemies in this area. Yeah, we wanna head southeast. And where does this go? I don't believe there's any enemies in this room, which is massively appreciated. No, this isn't right. Hang on. No, there was supposed to be something on this platform back here. Somehow I missed it. Alright, take us up. Yeah, there is something up there. Look. How do we get how do we get up there? How, how do we get up to that? Oh, I'm dumb. Right here. What might this be? Are you going to check it? Let's do it. And that moves the bridge. Okay, let's head down and check out what's over to the east. Another elevator. Oh gosh. This multi-level navigation is going to be very tedious and confusing, isn't it? Okay, next we want to head north. What's the point of making it over multiple levels like this? Okay, we got another switch here. No? No? Okay, it's just a pillar. Never mind. Okay, how about this bridge? There's a switch. Wait, hang on. That's not a normal switch. What is this? Well, okay then, moved another bridge, and it looks like we can't change that one back. Because that switch kind of sees to be... Where are we on the map? We are all the way towards the east. Oh my gosh, this place is huge. Look how many exits there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight around the edge. There are eight exits here. Okay, I think we want to head for that south south wall west exit next. So we're gonna have to go all the way back to the southwest. God, seriously, what's the point of these elevators? It just makes things so much more tedious than they need to be. I saw an item down there. Would love to be able to grab that. Okay, now we're going to want to head south. Oh, no, not south. How, how do we get over there? Northwest, southwest. Okay, got it. 
Wait. Okay, I see where we are. I was wondering where that south, uh, south, the south wall east exit was. Turns out it's on a completely different path entirely. Okay. And then it's southeast of the exit. Entering this area, we're going to start finding enemies again, so be on your toes. We're going to head down, over, and we should be able to head north again, right up here. Oh! Hello! This is the power set off. I believe they drop a lot of experience, so if you need to grind some money... Uh, sorry, gra grind some levels. This might be a good enemy to fight. Thankfully, it seems to be being pretty chill right now. Didn't really do anything, just kind of let us hit it. We took off your death blower, right, em uh, right Emeralda? That's why you didn't have a level 1 hyper death blow, right? Not hyper death blow, X death blow. Nice level ups all around. Anti angel system. Ooh, ooh. Once we load, once we load the screen, I want to check out what that anti 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 angel system is. Okay, I'm assuming that's gear equipment. Anti angel system. Heck yes. Okay, that is fantastic. We're going to start sticking that on people if we can find more of it. That'll give us a lot of protection in this area. Okay, now in here, there's a treasure on the back. We got G Godson Ammo. Ooh, that is for Billy. We will check that out once we pull Billy back into the party. Okay, let's head back to the south and into the vents. Okay, let's see. This place is also a maze, just like the outside. Fought another power Seroth. It gave me an Angel Armor S? I'm imagining that's better Angel Armor. I can't imagine it being anything else. Okay, where is that? That is obviously going to be an upgrade. It's halfway to the anti-angel system. Okay, we want to head south. Skip this path, because that's where we went before. And we want to head west here, right? And this should lead to an exit. Just an Earth Seraph, nothing interesting. Apparently they can get very big fists to punch you, though it only did 600 damage. Oh, thank God we're safe for a little bit. <sighs> should be no enemies around here. Where are we on the map? Okay. So, explain this to me. We went out that so south wall western exit, went south through the tunnels, and ended up at the north end of this area. You know, I'm not going to question it because it's just going to break my brain. Okay, heading down here, we want to head up and then east. All the way over here, we should have another switch we can press. Here we go, another permanent switch. Ooh, where did that go? There's a hole. There's a big old hole right there. How do we get to that hole? I imagine that hole's gonna be the exit to this area, because it looks Pretty not climb outable. Okay, now we're gonna head down this way. And where are we on the map? Where, where are we able to go? We can go south and then we can go west. 
and that goes to another exit. Let's go check that out then. Oh, hang on, we got a switch here. Should we press it? This is switch number three. I've, I've, got, I've got a nice, nice little instructions on how to get through here. Let's flip it. Okay, so now we can head that way if we want. Okay, red dot. There's the red dot where that giant hole was. Oh, and this is what the pla uh okay, the map keeps up today based on how it currently looks. Oh! And you can see how the things will turn looking at the giant circles and where it's gray, where there's like gray on the rim of the circle, like the circle I'm in right now on the left. You can see there's that thin circle on the outside from the north uh from nor north end to the east end there's like a thicker gray line that shows where the platform will turn. Okay. Very nice. Okay, so this gives us a shortcut back to the beginning then, because I think we started on that platform to the east. We don't need to go there, but good to know. Now we're going to head through this door. And let's see. Let's check the map, actually. We got a map of this area. Good. Okay, so if I remember correctly, that northeastern exit should take us to where that hole was. That giant hole. But there's some areas down this way we can check out, too. So we're going to go southwest. I don't... Hmm. I don't believe there's anything we can check out in that northwest exit, so we're just going to head for the southwest exit. So we're going to head all the way down this way. And we have some new set off angels! What are these? Not too hard to beat, that's what they are. Shame they didn't drop any anti-angel weapons. That would have been nice. Okay, keep going. Where is our exit? Keep going this way. I hear another battle loading. Hi! Another new type of angel. What the heck are you? You look like a mine. You look like just a floating mine. <gasps> Do you heal? Are you a heal bot? Oh, I killed the heal bot. Okay. I, I thought it might be something like you hit it and it heals you, but no, I guess it just heals you at random and it doesn't have a lot of health. Good to know. Okay, over here should give us our second item, which is the last treasure chest in the game. It is a pilot shield. Not much, but it's something. Now, let's get to that exit. Let's get out of this damn maze. So we want to head all the way up to the northeast. So we'll go straight, right, left, left. Straight, right, left, left. 
More angel armor. Still no really good angel armor. Would have liked some, but oh well. Okay, there's our right, so now we need to take two lefts. Okay. Now we gotta take a left. And then it should be one more left to get us there. God, it's so dark in this tunnel. Not a fan of that. Ever since that brightness bug started becoming a thing, I've been just paranoid about any dark rooms in this game. I don't know what my PS3 is doing. I know how to fix it. I just don't know how to prevent it. Okay. Through here, through here. I don't know what that spinning thing is. It's kind of concerning me, but it seems to not do anything. And I think that is it. No more random battles. We have finished every last random battle in the game. Now we just gotta head forward and hop into that hole. Please tell me we're on the right path. Please tell me we're on the right path. There it is! There's that exit! Let's get out of here, get out of Deus's Merkava, and be done with this dungeon! Go? Let's do it. Jump in. Okay, here we go. Oh no, not this bullshit again! Oh god, okay, I'm gonna get nauseous. Why do you gotta do this to me, game? This is not fun. This is not funny at all. Ow! Taking damage. And we have returned to the core of Merkava. Next time on Let's Play Xenogears, the finale. I'll see everyone then.